A McDowell County father is in jail tonight, accused of abusing his baby boy. 19 year old Byron Pace of Marion is charged with felony intentional child abuse, resulting in serious bodily injury. The baby is back home with his mother tonight. News 13's Justin Hinton is live from the sheriff's office. Justin, deputies are saying at one point the baby was blue and unresponsive. That's right, and, and that's not all. They also say that he suffered from several bo broken bones. They said five broken bones. And we also talked to, to Pace's father. Now, he says that he knows what happens, even though deputies have not released what happened from that day. And he says, though, that it was all just an accident. Freshly released from the hospital, mom says two-month-old Colton is doing okay. After McDowell County deputies say he turned blue, went unresponsive, and sustained five broken bones Tuesday. They accuse his father, 19-year-old Byron Cole Pace, of child abuse. Ain't no way he could done anything like it. I mean, he ain't. His dad, Brian Pace, on the other hand, says what happened Tuesday was all an accident, that Byron never meant to hurt Colton. Byron got up got Colton out of crib. And he picked him up and he accident dropped him. When he dropped him, his side of his head, neck hit the crib. And he fell on his back inside the crib. And my son picked him up because he wasn't breathing and kind of shook him a little bit to try to get him back breathing again. He says he placed the baby on the bed. And that's when he turned blue and the baby's mother returned home. They took him straight to McDowell Hospital, tried to get him some help. They sent him to Asheville Hospital in an ambulance. He says if someone abuses another person, they deserve to go to jail. But he does not believe that's what happened in this case. Well, I was worried about him, especially being in jail for something he did not do. Investigators say otherwise. The case is still under investigation right now. Pace is in jail with a $100,000 bond. Reporting live in McDowell County, Justin Hinton, News 13.